These two custom rooms are just so amazing in the terms of features, in the terms of customizations, in the terms of UI. Both of these custom rooms are just so good. I'm talking about Lenaris AOSP custom room and also on the other hand, we have Project Infinity X. Both of these custom rooms are just so good in the terms of features and customization. And remember one thing, Infinity X right now while making this video is based on QPR1 and Lunaris is not based on QPR1, it is pre-QPR version. Uh, but yes, things are so exciting. For example, this is the default launcher. Both of these custom rooms have a different launcher, basically similar launcher. You can say not a pixel launcher in my personal opinion. It's, it's a very basic thing, uh, but yes, it's a very exciting one. One major difference you will notice in both of these launchers is in the home screen at a glance customization. In Infinity X, you have Oxygen OS style clock on the home screen, while as in Lunaris, we do not have any option like that. Everything else is just kind of similar with few tweaks here and there. Uh, what about the recent panel? In recent section, we have some extra options available in Lunaris AOSP to enable like ZRAM info, but everything else is same. Just open this recent panel and let me show you that we have a different and very big looking clear all button in Lunaris AOSP. This is not available with Infinity X. As the Infinity X is based on QPR1, so the recent panel is changed as compared to Lunaris. Both of them are obviously looking good. It depends upon you, whichever you like the most, but both of them are almost similar and have their own, own benefits or something like that. App drawer also have some changes because Infinity X is based on latest QPR1. So this is having card style UI while as in Lunaris, you can enable that by moving into home screen or by moving into the launcher customizations, but that's enabled by default in Infinity X. Settings UI, you will see some major differences, especially in the terms of default settings UI, colorful settings UI in Infinity, while as in Lunaris, basic options. You will also see a difference in private DNS mode. In Lunaris, we have the option to choose private DNS mode and also have the option to disable for VPN. Uh, this is not available in Infinity X right now while making this video based on QPR1 first update. Things are going to change with the next updates, but this is a basic thing which you will find, basic differences you will see. If you move on to customization section, the UI is completely different in both of these custom rooms. We also have this Monet customization. Infinity X brings you basic Monet customizations, with which brings you theme styles. While as in Lunaris, we have extra and advanced color customization available. So if you are into more theming, more customization kind of things, you might love Lunaris. One thing which is a major difference in both of these custom room in the terms of customization I'm talking about is fonts customization. In Infinity X, the UI to apply these fonts is just so good and one of the best looking. While as in Lunaris, we have more feature focused things. So we have pre-built fonts customization. We have the option to download these fonts from GitHub. Also have the option to choose your custom fonts. So that's exciting. Also, if you move on to wallpaper customizations, you have the option to customize this wallpaper blur style that is available as a wallpaper effect type in Lunaris. So more options in Lunaris in this case also. And also one more thing is you can adjust the wallpaper dim effect. Uh, you can choose this in both of these custom rooms. While as wallpaper dim level by default was not present in Lunaris, but after a few seconds I got it. So this might be a minor issue in my case. It's not a big deal, but as you can see now it is available. Previously it was not there. It is in wallpaper section customization. Including this customization, we if you move on to spoofing options, both of the custom rooms have almost similar spoofing options with few tweaks here and there. You cannot customize, you cannot compare almost everything with both of these custom rooms because if you compare even single feature one by one, the video will take a long, long time. So we cannot compare all of those things we simply get a basic idea after comparing these custom rooms. In this case, we can see these kind of things available. Similar goes, uh, similar things goes to the security bypass features like no storage restrict, also for application downgrade, also for no storage restrict, hiding the screen capture status and so on. Storage encryption feature is also there. We also see a major difference in wallpaper and style UI because Infinity X is based on the latest QPR1, while as Lunaris is not having this update. While making this video, maybe if Lunaris will come with a QPR1 update or QPR2, 
you will see major differences there but because this one is pre qpr version even if you're watching this video after lunaris which is now coming with qpr 2 or 1 whatever it will come soon uh, then you will see major differences but this one is a different thing also if you move on to specific things or specific customization both of these custom roms yes infinity x is good in its own terms lunaris is good in its own term for example if you move on to infinity x it brings you a lot of features and customizations alongside good ui so yes it is already good stable available for many other devices and it's a very close competition between lunaris and infinity x if you move on to lunaris uh, you can exactly and clearly see that more and more customizations and features present in lunaris as compared to infinity x if you compare multiple number of things if you compare a lot of customizations yes lunaris has more and more as compared to infinity x so more customizations is equal to lunaris uh, but yes both of these custom rooms are still very close in the terms of ui in the terms of features Infinity X is still not far behind as also that is based on QPR1. So that is also a major advantage. Like if you are using Infinity X, you might see this as an advantage that QPR1 is already available with Infinity X. While as Lunaris right now, while making this video on 3rd January 2026 is not based on QPR1. But everything else is just completely up to you. Which one you are liking? Let me know which one do you like the most. Uh, for now, this is it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this, make sure to drop a like and I will see you in the next one. Take care.